try to think of at least two to three alternative diagnoses. And while thinking about them, think about their relevance to the presenting complaint of the patient in terms of the patient's gender, patient's age, patient's other demographic factors. Do not just randomly pick the differential diagnosis. And last one is always include at least two not to miss diagnosis. And this is important. Why? Because this way, if in the exam, let's say that you get a bit biased because of the recalls and you miss some important diagnosis, because of this particular strategy, you'll remember at least two differential diagnoses you should never miss. Because if you miss asking questions about the critical diagnosis, even if that's not your diagnosis in the exam, you are likely to fail the exam. For example, if you have a patient who has come come to you with the complaint of headache and fever and if you forget to ask about meningitis you'll fail because that's a diagnosis you should never miss so just like that in every presenting complaint make a habit of thinking about two critical diagnoses that you should not miss and the last point is there is no point listing 10 diagnosis differential diagnoses which are not relevant just including a large number of differential diagnoses is not going to help you to pass the exam. In fact, if you can list the differentials in the order of their likelihood, then you are more likely to pass the exam.